putting this meeting on recording and today we are going to do uh, example number 11 which is given on page number uh, 127 so as to understand the concept of go to statement first of all i'm going to write down the whole program on this uh, edit panel okay so i have closed my book <laughs> is equals to one then it is start after that it is v is equals to a into a i think yesterday also we discussed this but some of you were not able to understand this one so that's the reason i am taking it again right line b after that it is b is equals to sorry a is equals to a plus one and then it is go to start so this is a program now let's take uh, make use of this notepad file so this or, is example 11 that we haven't done example 11 yet um so this is the reason why i am taking this now because we haven't done it yet we are done with uh, the example which is given on page number 125. That is programmed to find the greatest out of the three numbers. Yes. Okay. And I have told you to cut down the program which is given on page number 126. That is example number 10. Now we are on example number 11. With this example, we will try to understand the concept of go to statement. Right. So, you know, whenever you come across any program and if you, want, if you are asked to find out the output of that program, so the first thing that you have to do is you have to identify the names of the variables which have been used in the program. Now, as you can see, there are two variables which we have made you, which we are making use of in this program over here. The name of the first one is A and the name of the second one is B. So these are the two variables which we have used in this program. So what you have to do, you have to just open a file and you have to write down the names of these variables like this. Or else you can write it down like this. I think this will be a better choice. And after this, you can mention the output part. Okay. Or else make it, uh, make it like this only because otherwise the output, you will not be able to understand. Okay. So I'm going to minimize my screen. Yeah. Now it is fine. So when the compiler will come on this uh, line, the first line, what it, what this first line of code is doing, it is initializing this variable A with this value one. So automatically compiler is going to initialize or you can say store one in this variable A. So at present, the value of A is equals to one. Just listen to me attentively so that you can, uh, you know, get to know about the concept in a more good way. Now, when the compiler will, after executing this line, okay, after executing this line, when the compiler will come on this line, here, uh, we have got a colon after this start. So what the compiler is going to do, it is not going to produce any kind of output on the text window. It is going to come on the third line without reading this line. Remember this thing, because we have got a colon here, compiler is not going to read this line. It is going to come on this line directly. Okay. Now here, what we are doing, we are calculating the product of two numbers. That is A into A. This is a multiplication operator, which we have used in between these two variables, A and A. So at present, the value of A is one. And when I will multiply one with one, what is the value that I will get? I will get one. one, one. So now the value of B will be equal to one. one. So that is the reason one. I'm going to write one over here. Fine. Now let's come on this. Once uh, the compiler is done with executing this line, it is going to come on this line. Here it is written text window dot write line B. What does this mean? It means that we are printing, we want to print the value of B on the text window. What is the value of B? It is equals to one. one. So the output 
that is going to get reflected on the text window is one, the value Fine. of B. Fine. Now, after executing this line, the compiler is going to come on this line. Okay. Now, here what we are doing, we are incrementing the value of A by one, and then we are again storing that particular result in this variable A. What is the value of A at present? It is equals to one. one. So one, one plus one will be equal to two, and two, two will get assigned to A again. So it means that the new value of A will be equal to two now. Is this thing clear to every one of you? Yes. Till now, every point is clear. Now, when the compiler will come on the sixth line. After executing this line, when the compiler will come on the sixth line, what is the sixth line saying to the what? What this sixth line of code is going to do? It is going to send the compiler back on the line where this start keyword is written, where this start is written. So uh, go to start means start per vapis jump, and this one, this word is written where it is written here on the second line. So what is going to happen? The compiler is going to return on this line. That is line number two. Now here, there is again a colon, which the compiler is going to read. Because there is a colon placed over here after this start, the compiler is going to move on this third line. Fine. What is the value of A at present? It is equal to 2. two. Now the compiler is going to multiply the value of A with the value of A again. Now 2 into 2 is equal to 4. So four. now the new value that uh, the compiler will calculate after doing this uh, calculation, after making this uh, multiplication, it is 4. It will come out with, now 4 will get assigned to which variable? B. So the new value of B will be equal to 4. And then when the compiler will come on this line, it will print the value of B on the text window. So this is what you're going to get as an output now on the uh, text window. The first output is 1, the yes. second output will be 4. Now let's come, after executing this line, the compiler will come on this line again. What, it, what is happening here? The value of A will get incremented by 1. Okay. So what is the value of A at present? It is equals to 2. two, plus two. So 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. Two plus one. Three, 3 will get stored in this variable A. And now the new value of A will be equal to 3. Then after executing this line, when the compiler will come on this line, what is this line? going to do it is going to send the compiler back on the line where this start word is written so it is written on the second line so the compiler is going to go back on the second line so it's a Sir, loop, can I... you know it's a circular loop in which uh, which the compiler is executing right now so now you can guess the output yourself only what is happening here here the compiler has calculated the square of this one so output is one now, when you will calculate the square of this 2, you are going to get 4. Now, uh, the value of A is 3. Okay. Nine. What will be the value of B? It nine. Will be 9. And what are you going to get as an output? 9. You nine. Are going to get as an output. Again, the value of A is going to get incremented by 1. So, the new value of A will be 4. Here, you four. are going to get 16. Then here, it will be 16. And likewise, you are going to get, you know, infinite number of values. Fine, let me just show it show it to you. Okay, let me just show it to you practically. Sir. Run this just a second. Give me just a second. Uh, let me just run this program and check out the output what we are going to get on the text window. So when you'll hit this run button, this is what you're going to see on the text window as an output. Are you all able to see these numbers over here? Yes. So it's an yes, infinite loop. It's an infinite loop which has got created. So, so these numbers will never.